Do you remember yesterday when I was like, I don't know if I would have gone with this headline because technically the Met Police only said they were investigating a man in his 40s and they received information in June about it. Now certainly points to Dan Wooten. Buckle up. Dan Wooten's lawyers confirmed it, which led several outlets like The Guardian to pull their story on it. Why? It appears it's over this case right here that the Supreme Court made it clear that any person under criminal investigation has, prior to being charged, a reasonable expectation of privacy in respect of information relating to that investigation. So Dan is under investigation by police. This is from Peter Jukes, who is a co-founder of Byline Times. He says, just to be clear, this is not slap territory. No proceedings have been initiated against us, in contrast with Brandt. You'll note that he says, this is clear slap territory. SLAP, this picture is savage. SLAP stands for Strategic Lawsuit Against Public Participation. And basically it's a way to dissuade their critics from continuing to produce negative publicity. In the case of Dan Wooten, they obviously want to stop any further conversation into the investigation that is ongoing. But interestingly, they did not send them to Byline Times. My theory is they wanted to scare mainstream outlets and continue to paint Byline Times as this left-wing agitator blog and basically discredit it. This isn't the first time other outlets like The Guardian have referenced the Byline Times investigation in their own reporting, but this does appear to be the first time that they've ever taken something down at the behest of Wooten's lawyers. More to come.